What's up, squad? It's your boy Trey, aka Daddy C. Thanks for stopping back by the channel once again. We are back with another one, y'all. Just had to pop in here today. Really, I want y'all to really sit back and relax a little bit because we got something special to talk about today. Like every now and again, right? Some things come along, things happen, fall into place in a certain way that really make you sit back and take stock and really appreciate this thing that we call sneakers, right? Some people are in the sneaker game for the right reasons and just do business right, just are <clears throat> here for just the, the culture overall and just the, just the, about experiences and the whole nine. And I'm talking today about a guy that is really, really deserves his flowers for sure. And I'm talking about Phil Lipschitz of Unheard Of Brand out of Cincinnati um, and his new drop. And it's the Adidas Unheard Of Rivalry Low Building Bridges. Now, if you don't know about that shoe yet or haven't seen it or heard of it, um, I'm gonna get into it today. Got a special friends and family pack that I'm gonna be unboxing and I'm gonna get into that in a second, but I wanna just give you a quick little backstory on Phil. If you don't know or you haven't seen a review, he did this Grandma's Couch release last year, 2023. That was like just super dope, man. I really thought one of the best designs of 2023 um, from the standpoint of a shoe and a silhouette that you know wasn't widely done and just really outfitted man just beautifully just a real beautiful shoe this was done in two colors he actually did a, a, another one before these two that dropped last year um it was a red and yellow and some other colors in that um, it was called erica's poem but i'm gonna get into the story of that and, and his backstory you know some more and inspiration for this new drop but let me just tell you how this whole new building bridges came about so you know i got a dm on instagram uh phil and i have you know talked back and forth a couple of times i was you know just really championing this shoe when it did drop did a review you know just you know talking online how great i thought the shoe was and everything and what he was doing with the project um and he's you know just a real solid dude cool dude um hit me up on ig for my address that kind of thing said he's going to send me something and i was like is this real and then, you know, a couple of weeks later, I reached out to the store. They were like, yeah, it's legit. Give me information. It's all good. And I got an invite in the mail. And this invite was for a launch party for their friends and family new release. And this was actually in Cincinnati or Kentucky. So Cincinnati, Kentucky border right there across the water from one another um, for a riverboat party, man, last week. Um, October 24th and due to kids schedules and stuff I got a high schooler college student um, you know I, I couldn't make it man and I'm you know still kicking myself a lot of my sneaker friends my guy Kari sneaker fetish a um, bunch of other guys I've talked to females as well that went you know had a great time um, sad I missed it but I was able to still cop the shoe um, talk to Phil was able to secure a pair of all right y'all so I had some technical difficulties but again, super dope pack. Was able to secure this friends and family edition of the unheard of building bridges from my guy Phil Lipschitz, man. Good looking out, Phil. Uh, but I want to get into this pack, man. Really special, special packaging. I tried not to look at anything that other people were showcasing as they unboxed theirs. But as you see here, very nice special packaging man this briefcase is serious it's mean and um phil man solid looking out to make sure i could get a pair even though i couldn't make it to the actual party just with kids and everything else going on but case is nice man unheard of brand there and you got his little captain piggy on the little hang tag like your little luggage tag on here that's your size this is a size 11 and a half captain piggy unheard of adidas rivalry low and let's get into the box, man. Let's check it out, y'all. Wow. Now you talk about premium, dude. This is like nice and satin line box embroidered. Unheard of here. I didn't even get to the shoes. We got a Captain Piggy. Adidas with the Adidas captain hat and a sticker, kind of little baby poster. That's a nice touch. Whoops. And let's get into the shoe. 
Wow. Oh, you got a little Captain Piggy. Like a little, <laughs> little squish toy, like a rubber ducky. That's nice. Got some sneaker liner bags in here, little satin bags. Wow. Premium, y'all. Nice touch, nice touch. Then let's get to the shoe. Ooh. That's nice. That is a nice shoe, man. Look at the touches on here. The Adidas on the tongue, that embroidered. You got this brick motif around the shoe with something to put out on top. This light blue, which is actually like the color. This is like the coloring of the actual bridge that inspired this shoe. So this shoe, wow, that's nice. This shoe is inspired by the Robling Suspension Bridge that connects Covington, Kentucky and Cincinnati, Ohio. So this is a bridge that Philip was actually from Kentucky and were crossed to go to Cincinnati. And he kind of adopted that bridge and made Cincinnati his home later in life. Um, but this was all about building bridges. He talked about this shoe, the inspiration for it, um, was building bridges, connecting folks, you know, brick by brick by brick. And the uh, guy that designed the Roebling Suspension Bridge, John Roebling, actually designed the Brooklyn Bridge. So the Roebling Bridge was first over in Ohio, Kentucky. It was like the prototype for the Brooklyn Bridge. And he also designed his children's home that Phil was dropped off at when he was three years old. So the proceeds from the shoe sales, going back to the children's home, children from that children's home were a part of this launch party. Uh, he gave all these kids free shoes. Uh, man, it's like such a full circle. You know, like I said, just things being done right from a design standpoint, the inspiration, um, kind of a mission behind the shoe itself. And, you know, it's not just get this shoe because I designed dope stuff. It's like, man, how does this connect to the community, connect to my history, upbringing, um, family, and all of that. And this shoe really just showcases all that, man. And this, the bridge itself, like I said, is this kind of light blue color with this tan brick. And then you got this color, which, you know, is kind of reminiscent of the water underneath the bridge. Um, just, man, just really, really nice in hand. You got suede, nice uh, low cut suede on the tongue and on this top of the forefoot. This is like a, like a slight leather new buck around. This is more like a lighter new buck here. And then you got this dark on the back to kind of match the front and the back. You got suede around the back with the pig here. The tongue itself is padded. Um, you got a nice, insole that has the pig and the boat you kind of see the pig on the ship inside there and again this party was on it was a, a, a steamboat actual steamboat on the uh ohio river that this was um launch party was launched at man just a, a well done project i'm like super psyched to have these in, in hand um and then just comparing them let me take a look at these with the grandma's couch as well just a dope pair man both both are really nice different design but in their own right like that's a really nice shoe man nice shoe bottom you know bottom of the outsole and let's get the other one out let's see what else did i miss anything else in the box itself definitely came with another pair of laces like a tan lace got a keychain for the children's home in Northern Kentucky that I talked about. Just doing things right, man. And again, this is something that takes it beyond, you know, just, okay, this is a nice sneaker. This is a sneaker that has a lot of meaning, a lot of messages, um, connections and ties. And there's a lot more stuff, let's see. Got some Adidas, oh, unheard of. These kind of go on your laces. Another unheard of keychain. And that's just your laces there. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Different, man. Different, <laughs> different shoe. Uh, you got Adidas. Wow, look at that. On the back of the shoe itself. You got the pig on one and Adidas on the other. Just tough, man. And I love the way the tongue is done on this shoe. That is dope. That's a dope look for real. The color is like super wearable. You wear this with jeans. Stands out. You know, nobody's wearing these. And again, this shoe was limited to a thousand pairs total. 
So there's five different cases. There's green, blue, red, yellow, and one more. And um, there's 200 of each. So this is one of 200 of the green. I'm excited. I'm glad to you know, get one pair in my hand, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, if you got a pair, let me know what you think about these. Have you rocked them yet? I saw some people that were at the party that were on you know, socials, rocking them kind of right, up, right away, putting them right to foot. I love to see that. Um, again, huge project, man, big deal. Adidas doing it right, working with you know, some of the local boutiques and Unheard Of is doing a great job. Um, if you don't know or haven't tapped into them, make sure you follow them online, IG and everything else. Um, tap into what Phil is doing. And um, yeah, man, big, you know, big, big deal, big shoe, glad to get a pair. And um, these get my rating. I'm giving these a straight up 10. I mean, something totally different than what you see every day. Um, you know, it's not a hype shoe, but it's a shoe that's designed, super great design. I mean, the stitching, look at the stitching, man. Like, you know, all the, the right motivations and inspirations behind it. And I hope to see a lot more from Unheard Of and what they're doing um, for the community and, you know, where, locally where they are and for the sneaker community as a whole. And again, shout out to Phil for reaching out to creators and influencers and things like that, people that aren't necessarily just huge in the space you know you don't have to have a million followers this that and the other thing you know but people that have that are putting in the work and do have some influence and have some folks that are supporting what they're doing so happy to get them love this whole mission love everything about this project um follow me online y'all i appreciate you watching make sure you sub up on your way out follow me on ig and tiktok x at real daddy seed and i will see y'all on the next one y'all peace